this is Jeff from Star Views, and today I'm here to talk to you about debt consolidation. Debt consolidation is a term that we hear thrown around a great deal lately. And in fact, I'm sure by now most of you have seen that TV commercial with Barack Obama talking about debt as a debt consolidation company is trying to sell you on their services. In order to help you better understand exactly what this means and how it could possibly help you in today's environment, I'm just going to give you a little bit about the basics of debt consolidation. So what exactly is debt consolidation? Well, in its simplest form, debt consolidation is nothing more than a financial strategy that's implemented in order to consolidate several outstanding loans into one single monthly payment. The goal of debt consolidation is to allow you to pay off all of your debt at a lower interest rate in a shorter period of time. There are three basic strategies that are used to help you accomplish these goals. There's the first one of getting a low interest loan. The second one is what's known in the industry as a debt management plan. And the third strategy is a debt settlement plan. Before we get into each one of these three debt strategies, it's important to try and understand which one is going to help you the most. And as I go through each one, I'll let you know which one I think is best for you. So the first strategy is a debt consolidation loan. This is an ideal debt consolidation strategy for someone who has credit available to them, has a good financial standing, and is able to continue making monthly payments. The principle of this is quite straightforward. You're just taking one large loan at a lower interest rate, then you're using the proceeds of that loan to pay off all your other debts and save money. So the major benefits of this are, like I just said, you're going to save money. Lower interest means less payments. You might even be able to get a tax deduction. If you're using a home equity loan, you may be able to write off the interest paid on that loan from your income taxes. You're also going to have a single payment. So instead of having to make five or six payments each month, you just have one single payment. There are some potential downsides to this strategy as well that you need to be aware of. The first and most obvious one, you're putting your home on the line. If you're taking a home equity loan, you are risking your house, so you need to make sure that you're comfortable with that type of situation before you dive into this. There are also the possibility you get involved in a variable rate loan. If this is the case, Make sure you read the fine print and understand how high your rates can go so that six, eight months down the line, you don't end up with an interest rate higher than your current interest rates. And then the, uh, the other thing to be careful of is don't delay. Don't end up taking up too much time by taking a 15, 20, or 30 year loan and end up having your debt so much longer than you would have had you just continued to make your payments under your current situation. So that explains debt consolidation loan. Now let's take a look at the other strategies. The second debt consolidation strategy I want to talk to you about today is a debt management plan. This type of strategy is ideal for people who are able to continue making monthly payments but are unable to secure a line of credit or a loan like we talked about earlier. The basic principle behind this is simple. You make one monthly payment to a credit counseling agency and then they make individual payments to all of your creditors on your behalf. This is going to benefit you in several ways. It's going to lower your interest rate in most cases. The credit counseling agency is going to go bad for you and negotiate low interest rates with all of your creditors. Also, collection activity is going to stop. If you have collection agencies calling you or sending you letters, you can now tell them, stop calling me, get in touch with my counseling agency. The next thing, you're probably going to get out of debt in five years or less. In most instances, a debt management plan can get you out of debt in five years or less. You're also going to be able to make one single monthly payment instead of having to spread it out over five, six payments every month. Potential downsides to a debt management plan are you're going to have to close all of your open credit accounts. So no more charging, no more credit, you're going to have to close all that down, which may not be a downside at all if you've gotten yourself into some type of credit problems. Second thing, agencies can charge fees. So you need to make sure that if your agency is charging a fee, it's offset by low interest rates and you are actually going to save money each month. And lastly, most importantly, a debt management plan can have an adverse effect on your credit report. Your creditors could report this type of activity to the credit agencies and on your credit report it will show that you're on a debt management plan which could have an impact when you try and get credit in the future. So that's the, the fundamentals of a debt management plan. Next thing we can look at is debt settlement. The final debt consolidation strategy I want to talk to you about today is a debt settlement plan. This type of program is for people who are no longer able to keep up with their debts and can't afford the monthly payments that come along with the debt management plan. For these people, debt settlement becomes a very attractive alternative to filing for bankruptcy. The way debt settlement works is that you immediately stop paying all of your creditors. Rather than paying them, each month you make a deposit into your own settlement account. Then your counseling service will go out on your behalf 
and negotiate payoffs with your creditors for less than the full repayment amount and pay them directly from the proceeds you've put into your settlement account. The benefits of this type of program, first and foremost, you're going to dramatically reduce your debt. You're not paying off the full amount, so therefore your total debt is dramatically decreased. You're only going to pay into your settlement account each month what you can afford, so there's some flexibility there. If you're a little short one month, you put a little less money in. You're not restricted to a certain amount every month. This is far less painful in bankruptcy, and in most cases, if you stick with the plan, you'll be able to get your debt fully paid off in three to five years. Some downsides you need to be aware of, you're going to affect your credit report pretty adversely. All of your creditors are going to report this activity to the credit bureaus, and your credit score is going to take a major hit. Also, creditors don't have to accept these negotiations, so in some instances your creditor may not be willing to take a reduced payment. While the settlement process is taking place, your total debt is going to increase. Okay? Those, finances charges, those finance charges are going to continue to accrue each month, and until you reach that first settlement, which could take up to 6 to 12 months, your total debt will end up being higher. However, in the long run, due to the repayment of less than the full amount, you will see a decreased debt. Last thing you need to be aware of is that you might have some tax implications from debt settlement. In some cases, you may have to pay taxes on the unpaid debt. We just finished going over the top three debt consolidation strategies, and hopefully it's helped demystify the subject for you and let you gain a little better understanding into what debt consolidation is all about and what program might be best for your current situation. If you're serious about learning more about debt consolidation, please check out the debt consolidation category in the Star Reviews website, where we've reviewed many of the top and most reputable debt consolidation companies.